for other people who have those who have the opportunity diba, to to make a difference uh, loved ones family friend do it na gra, gra, diba, take hold of the opportunity I am Diego Castro and this is my story a story of a son fighting for his father's life kasi in those days no, it was much more difficult to become an artista uh, but they said yung era ng 96 was special because uh, when the directors uh, were looking and producers were looking for new talents, they said this time walang audition, they were going on gut feel. So at this time I had problems with school uh, and I decided uh, to take a break from school and earn money para hindi mas strain yung finances ng parents ko. My dad and I always had these arguments uh, na pa-joke so, siyempre, majority ng papapicture mga bata. So, siyempre, sa akin yan. So, magjo-joke sila. Sabi nila, oh, hello, masikat ang anak mo. Sikat naman, baduy naman. And never in, even my dad's wildest dreams, na magiging, maisip niya maging news anchor ako. My dad is, uh, is like a politico. He's like, uh, para siya ambassador. Diba? He knows how to blend with uh, different kinds of people. And he knows how to hold back. Kaya niya tumimpla. My dad and I started to grow apart. I started to become arrogant a little kasi makatikim ka ng malaking pera. I don't need your I don't need your rules. Sabi niya, I have my own money. Diba? Kasi very strict siya. So, ang tendency ko is when I started to earn my own money, I wanted to prove to my dad I didn't need your support. The only time I ever cried sa whole, sa whole story was that uh, about 30 seconds na laman ko na he had cancer. The cry came from most Dahil siguro, dahil naisip ko na, wow. Just when I was resolved to trying to fix things with my dad already at that time kasi, medyo yung galit ko sa kanya, konti na lang eh. Sabi ko, all of a sudden, you're telling me that I have four months to resolve things with my dad. We started to talk a lot. He requested me time and again to go to his room to watch DVDs. He never did that eh. Sabi niya, son, I, I, alam mo naman, sabi niya, I'm, I'm dying. Sabi niya, I'm gonna die anytime. Sabi ko, I'm aware of that. Sabi, and uh, alam ko that we've had our, sabi niya something like, we've had our history of not being close and fight. Sabi, I, I don't look at it that way, Dad. Sabi, don't worry. Sabi niya, sorry, he apologized and said, I may not leave, uh, leave you with a lot of money, as you may expect, sabi niya. But I'm leaving you with a name that I took care of more for anything because it's for you. Yun ang nabigay sa akin. So I don't have the cash, but I have this good name to hold on, which I can use to you know, uh, tell his story. Family first all the time, right? And he did it by example. Honestly, uh, I rarely saw him weak. Maybe that's what he wanted to project. I rarely saw him uh, cry in pain or nahirapan ubo na ubo. Yung pala, what he do is, kung alam niya ubo siya at kaming dalawa sa house, kikwento ng driver, magtatago daw sa loob ng car, kakandado, tapos lalabas, tapos oh, okay na siya lahat. Ayaw daw niya pakita sa anak niya. Because yung pala, when he explained it in his uh, deathbed later on, he, he knew that if he was going, I would be the, the, the next one in line to take care of the family, knowing that my mom is in another battle. So he wanted to say, okay, uh, it's your turn, but he doesn't want to weaken my resolve by showing that siya rin mahina ang will niya. If I got him tested around 2007, when we were even talking about, oh, my cancer kana as a joke, we would have caught it maybe. I don't know. Ha? I'm at, basta maybe at stage two. Diba? And siguro he'd be alive to when new treatments come out. Don't fear, don't fear uh, the doctor. Don't, don't, okay, I'm not going test. Ako, admittedly, <coughs> uh, most of us Filipinos also, just like me, we don't go to the doctor until it's malala. Diba? So, why? Magihintay tayo until you cannot breathe, until you lose weight. Are you going to wait, uh, wait until your hair starts to fall off, or your eyesight decreases, or headaches come before magpatingin ka sa doctor and you're told you have uh, stage 3C or four, stage 4 cancer? That's, 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 uh, no. that's crazy, di ba? So I was invited to a uh, merienda, I think it was a merienda, um, and it was explained that if I could be part uh, of that group na Hope from a Dinner Test Talk X, take action as a lung cancer awareness uh, advocate right after I was going to mass every day or asking for a purpose in life should I quit anong career track ko all of a sudden there is clarity na okay 
this is what I should do, ba? Diba? Uh, you binigyan ka ng opportunity on a big platform to talk about something that killed your parents. And uh, you could spread the message and help other people not to go through the bad things, but in, in other words, to go through the good things that you've experienced, for, ano yung experience ko sa parents ko. So who would not, who would refuse a big platform? In Testok Act, take action, uh, we, we advocate, we want to spread the word or awareness na to get tested immediately. Sometimes I go around the uh, different, uh, for example, the guestings, radio, TV, I, I'm with the doctor, and uh, the doctor, of course, will talk about the, the symptoms from his perspective. I will talk about what happened from my perspective. So I think uh, the, first, the first step to cure is to, to know you're sick at the earliest stage possible. So that's what we want to raise awareness for. Na get tested as soon as you can and wag matakot. I support Hope From Within with their advocacy on lung cancer awareness. We will be actively informing Filipinos about the importance of early testing and new treatment options such as immunotherapy. To follow the advocacy, make sure to like Hope From Within's Facebook page.